remember City Hall, where all the big decisions are made. It's under the book jacket. <gasps> Library, City Hall. There she goes. She's being very brave. The mayor's office sent her to room 401, the Blue River Creek Department of Fun. It does look like fun. Which sent her downstairs to room 302, the office of duck ponds and cool things to do. To the office of monkeys, the Department of Cheese the division of fountains and meetings and bees. Then down to the basement, so musty and cramped, where all the town's papers were sorted and stamped. And that's where the clerk said what no one else did. You can't build a new park. You're only a kid. Oh man. I don't know about that. I think Sophia, I think she can do it. What do you think? Do you think that she could build a park or do you think, no way, she's just a kid, she can't build a park. Let's find out. The word smacked Sophia down deep in her heart. Her plan was kiboshed before it could start. I think, said Sophia, I think that law's wrong. But her second grade voice didn't sound very strong. The clerk said, clearly it cannot be done. Do you have any questions? Sophia said, one, if you were me and I was you and he was your grandpa, what would you do? Well, I said the clerk, then she said nothing at all. She thought and she thought, then she sent out a call to every employee throughout City Hall. If someone picks up their phone and they're calling every person that works in City Hall, that's a big deal. That means something's gonna happen. Hey, we know them, they were all in City Hall. Jeez, I remember him. <gasps> oh, the entire government of Blue River Creek crammed into the office to hear Sophia speak. But her words jumbled up and her cheeks turned bright red as a dozen emotions rushed into her head. Her heart beat so loudly she thought it would crack. The crowd leaned in closer. Sophia leaned back. And that was the moment when Sophia first knew being brave means doing the thing you must do. Though your heart cracks with fear, though you're just in grade two. Even when you're afraid, you have to stand up for what you believe in. She took a deep breath. Looked the mayor in the eye and thought her knees, and though her knees wobbled, she held her head high. Sophia started talking. She spelled out her plan and why it all mattered and how it began. And once she got rolling, she had lots to say about meeting spots, monkeys, and places to play and other ideas for things they could do to help the town elders and other folks too, the older people. She had thoughts on the library, thoughts on the zoo, and perhaps a way to combine the two and, here it says, basket for bees. I love bees. Rubber ducks, rubber duck pond. A library for monkeys. That sounds fun. I love cheese fountain. Maybe a fountain of cheese. I would love that. Monkeys love books. 
I love cheese. Cheese kiosk. A kiosk for cheese. It's where you can buy cheese. Cheese for everyone! Zoo library. Loan a llama. Pick me! Be cool. You could borrow a llama. All right, cried the mayor. Go start a petition. If the town wants a new park, we'll form a commission. Let's build a park. A park for everyone. Sign our petition, please. Bark for parks. And so young Sophia got right to work with some help from her family and pop and the clerk. There's Abuelo, our dog, pup, the clerk, Sophia. Whoa. Then others joined in, not all, but a few, like Miss Lila Greer and the kids in grade two. Scientists need parks. Give bees a chance. A park to think in. Architects for parks. Piggy Peck. We love parks. We can do it. It's our Rosie. Let's build a park. Get rid of Mount Trashmore. That, somewhere that's green. We need more green. Si se puede. Park for barks. Sign our petition, please. These kids, they're brave are standing up for what they believe in, even if not everyone agrees. Wait a minute. There were hearings and surveys and taxes to figure, then bulldozers, cranes, and a blue digger, bigger digger. They all built that park. That's how it got done. With the hard work of, by, and for everyone. But it began with the dream of one person, just one, who laced up her shoes and then led the way to help Blue River Creek get a new place to play. Now every evening till long after dark, the town comes together at Citizens Park. They all hold this, they all hold this truth to be self-evident that Sofia Valdez could grow up to be president. Until then, Sofia, that's a real life go-getter, helps Blue River Creek get better and better. Okay, it's part of the president's job. Let's make sure that our country gets better and better. She would make a really good president. Citizen Park, Citizens Park. This book is dedicated to you. You are braver than you know and mightier than you can ever imagine. Be bold. And that was written from the author and illustrator to you. And there's a note. It says, Sophia Valdez was inspired by, by not only one person, but many. Some small, some tall, some young, some old. People from every part of the world, girls, boys, women, men, people who saw a problem and worked to fix it, even when it was hard, even when it was scary. Some are famous, most are not. They took one small step and then took another and another, and they inspired other people through their journeys. They changed the world, and so can you. Give it a round of applause for Sophia Valdez, future prez. Yay! Well, she would have my vote. And I know that some of you could even become the president of the United States one day. I know that some of you are going to do great things. Actually, I know all of you are going to do great things. I'm very excited to see what you are going to do as you grow up in grade two and when you're an adult.